How did you know that they are NUP supporters? What if they were UPC supporters? By the way, Kankuburi, the world is in the change of the world. Well, a very good morning. Thank you for subscribing to the Buzz UG. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller. Uh, Ugandans in different parts of the country have started reacting on the tough conditions that we are living in right now. Uh, yesterday, we registered protests in some parts of Jinja. Ugandans that side said, no, this is too much. I mean, we are facing high fuel prices, high commodity prices. I must say, everything is not okay in this country. Now, these protesters included tax drivers, border border riders, even other people were part of this protest that did happen in Jinja yesterday. <laughs> Well, there you go. Those are some of uh, the protesters in Jinja yesterday. Now, Kira Region Police spokesperson James Moby revealed that eight people have been arrested and 11 motorcycles inbounded. Uh, Moby says they have intelligence information that these protests have been instigated by funders. Officials who do these dirty things, you see, they mobilize, they give, him, they give those people some money, and then they fuel. But even the media, we should stop. We should, we should stop just covering these issues. Covering, covering, covering. We need to go beyond. Well, there you go. That is James Moby, police spokesperson, Kira Region. Well, 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 personally, I think government need to swing into action and do something on the issue of high prices before the situation gets out of hand. Otherwise, Ugandans are very angry about this situation that we are going through right now. Uh, before you know it, you will hear that we are all in state house in Tebe, like the people of uh, Sri Lanka. So to avoid all this, government must step in and do something before citizens go violent. Well, in other news, a section of members of parliament have commented on the action of people power supporters who demonstrated in presence of uh, senior NRM officials in Canada. That is a people power movement. How did you know that they are NUP supporters? What if they were UPC supporters, some of them? Because even UPC people put on red. Those are Ugandans who, who, who didn't feel it well to see one of the people who have made them to escape, to, to run away from their countries, again going back to, to enjoy life in, in, in Canada. First, you agree to the fact that Ugandans are not happy, including those that are in NRM. And I think these people are trying to raise their voices that, hey, Minister for Energy, this is what is happening in our country. Why do you come here? I would not support any act of hooliganism because at the end of the day, it affects tourism. Eh? It affects tourism. They will think all Ugandans behave like that. Even if you come to Uganda, you'll be treated like that. Eh? There you go. Those are some of the members of parliament speaking about this matter. Well, it should be remembered that the president of NUP, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, supported the spirit exhibited by these guys in the diaspora. However, other people are saying that what they did was wrong. Others are saying they were right. And I don't know what you guys think, but that's what some members of parliament had to say about this story that's been trending on different social media platforms. <laughs> Well, in other news, and this is coming in from the entertainment industry, 
Uh, King Saha has again sent provoking statements to Gargamel boss that is Bebekul. Uh, we all know these guys don't connect because Bebekul says it's high time King Saha stops using drugs and then King Saha says Bebekul is a very big problem in this country and he says he will make sure that he sorts him out. <laughs> Uh, King Saha also says a person like Bebekul at his age hasn't officially married his wife, but he's busy poking his nose in other people's businesses. It's very unfortunate. <laughs> Unity <laughs> Well, there you go. That is uh, King Saha, Zakayo hitmaker. We are now waiting for Bebekul to respond, and in case he comes out, I'll keep you posted. Well, in other news, Eddie Kenzo has reiterated that he has no problem with His Excellency Bobby Wine, the president of NUP, and maybe some people should stop thinking that there is bad blood between the two. He said this statement in a recent interview. By the way, Eddie Kenzo also commented on the conflict between Bebekul and King Saha. He said that these guys should grow up and uh, focus on growing our young entertainment industry than wasting time in petty fights. Uganda is a strength. We are going to share in the world. We are going to share in the industry. I think of the Tubuko Zabula Tubuko Zam Quagula, Stegaza, Echochanak, Jetulaga to Ganaka to Kayakuanga Gadiam Gagalmenyam, Ugandan music industry, Charlie in Tonyo Kujiruanidam, Trina Sokan, a trigger, and after the tobacco to Kolashi, but we came back in Ba, then on the Tuana to take it. Nay, we said we sing this is a very young industry. Well, that is Eddie Kenzo right there for you. And uh, in case you have any comment about any of these stories, uh, just put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melaz Milo, aka Fula. Thank you. Hey.